Exploring the world of English, tactile imagery unveiled. Hello, language explorers. Today we're diving into the art of creative writing, specifically focusing on tactile imagery. This is an amazing technique that helps writers create vivid, touchable experiences for their readers. Let's unpack this and learn how you can incorporate tactile imagery into your own writing. Imagery, in general, is a literary device used by writers to create vivid pictures and sensory experiences in the reader's mind. It isn't only about what we can see, it also involves the other senses. One of these is touch, which brings us to the concept of tactile imagery. Tactile imagery refers to the use of language and descriptions that evoke the sense of touch. It involves texture, temperature, and physical sensations. For instance, when a writer describes the rough texture of a tree spark or the coolness of a marble slab, they're using tactile imagery. It's all about creating a tangible, touchable experience for the reader. It's a bridge that connects the world inside the book to the world outside. Let's look at some examples. 1. The cold wind pierced her skin, causing goosebumps to spread across her arms. 2. He could feel the velvety softness of the puppy's fur under his fingertips. Notice how these examples make you feel like you're experiencing the touch-related sensations yourself? That's the power of tactile imagery. To include tactile imagery in your writing, start by considering the physical sensations associated with the scene or object you're describing. Ask yourself, how would this feel to touch? Is it hot or cold? Rough or smooth? Remember, details matter. The more specific you are, the more vivid the experience for your readers. And that wraps up our exploration of tactile imagery. Now it's your turn to try. In your next piece of writing, see if you can weave in some touch-based descriptions to engage your reader's sense of touch. It's a fantastic way to bring your writing to life and create a more immersive experience. Keep practicing and you'll become a master of tactile imagery in no time. Happy writing, and until next time.